documentation for shipping oxygen cylinders. The shipper's declaration for dangerous good must be completed as follows. The top part, which is relatively self-explanatory, includes the name and address of the shipper and consignee, and the number of pages. Some people ship a lot of dangerous goods at one time. In this instance, we have one page, so this is page one of one. Below, under transport details, we have passenger and cargo aircraft, and the other box would have said cargo aircraft only. Since this shipment is authorized on passenger aircraft, the shipper has X'd out the non-applicable box, which in fact is cargo aircraft only. Same is true with shipment type, non-radioactive, and you can guess, if you haven't seen it before, that the other side says radioactive. As a shipper, we ask you not to complete the airway bill number, airport of departure, and airport of destination. If you use a freight forwarder such as Quick or Sterling, we are able to fill these out for you, as is the airline itself. The middle part of the form is the complex part. I've simply given you this one example. There are many others. But in this current case, which is very, very common, you simply put the UN number. You will notice that because of the size of the font, the shipper could not get UN and 1072 side by side inside of that column. It is not legal to go beyond the confines of the column. Oxygen comma compressed is the proper shipping name. The hazard class is 2.2, but the subsidiary or secondary risk is 5.1. This must be put in parentheses either next to or underneath the primary hazard class. As shown here, 2.2, and of course there's no room, so we put 5.1 underneath. There are no packing groups for this commodity. Quantity and type of package. We have one. Here's where we get a little bit tricky. The IATA regulations recognize wooden, metal, fiberboard, and plastic boxes. They do not recognize hybrid boxes or all kinds of other boxes. So it's very difficult here to know how to describe this box. In my example, I arbitrarily put wooden slash metal box. That's pretty much what it is, and generally speaking, the airline will accept it if that's what they see in front of them. The times means containing, and the two kilos indicates the amount of compressed gas inside of the oxygen cylinder. If you do not know, then you weigh the cylinder and take your best estimate as to the difference between the weight of the cylinder and the weight of the gas. The weight of the cylinder is called the tear weight. The weight of the gas is called the net weight. What we're looking for is the net weight, not the weight of the cylinder. The packing instruction is 200. The final part of the form is very important because it contains the obligatory 24-hour emergency response telephone number. The airline usually is very particular about including all of those words. 24-hour, emergency response, and telephone number. 24-hour number, not good. Emergency response number, not good. They want to have all of those aspects, the 24-hour, emergency response, telephone number. Also, an 800 number is very kind uh, of the shipper to put because it doesn't cost the caller anything, but the FAA doesn't like it because it is not possible to call an 800 number from overseas, so Argentina or South Korea or Japan or wherever, France, you cannot call an 800 number, therefore you cannot ask for assistance. So always put the real telephone number, a number that anyone can dial from anywhere in the world. The name of the person completing the declaration, that person's title, president, shipping clerk, whatever. The place is usually the city, in this case Los Angeles, and the date. The signature must be original in ink, therefore photocopies or emailed copies will not suffice. 
You have to have an original signature, and we'd like at least three originals per flight leg. This concludes this video. Thank you for your attention. Certainly, you are invited to call Quick Customer Service or Sterling Customer Service. We are more than happy to assist you with the more complicated details of these shipments. Thanks again for your attention.